The Need for Speed franchise has been one of the longer-running racing titles out there, and the games as a whole have been about going as fast as possible to both outrace your friends and outpace the cops. But in Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered, you'll get the best visuals yet for a game that lets you be both the racer and the chaser. Yep, if you want to be a racer, you'll get in the best cars around in order to take on the cops and beat them all over the streets. Or, you can be a cop and take down the lawbreakers with your own special ride and tactics. The main campaign and all the DLC packs are included in this version, so you'll have plenty to use and do. You might not recall it at first, but it's true, Crash Bandicoot did indeed have a racing game years ago, and now, Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled aims to make it as prominent as the franchise once was. You'll get to race as one of your favorite characters from the franchise and go on high-octane trips around the various tracks of the universe. Plus, you can customize the way your card is, your racer is the items you have and more. Hope online and play with friends in order to show them who is the most insane. Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled is for those who want fast-paced and wacky fun, so get in the driver's seat and go! The latest entry in the fast-paced series will put you in a racing gauntlet known as the Grand. You'll participate in four weeks of racing to prove that you are the best driver. The arcade racing style will appeal to many of you and ensure that you'll put hours into the title. Plus, the customization alone is enough to keep you occupied. You'll be able to style your car any way you want so that it feels perfect to drive and looks like it's an extension of your personality. I recommend it to those who like arcade racing style games. I'll find this punk if it's the last thing I do out here today. That's all she wrote for me, folks. We're taking a beating here, this bitch! Trackmania Turbo offers a pretty good experience for racing games fans. The game is very easy to learn, but hard to become a master. You can challenge your friends both at home or online at a high-speed race through many tracks. You also have the ability to team up with a friend on Double Driver which is a feature we don't see often in these racing games. In Hot Seat Mode, you will be able to invite up to 16 friends to play with you, while combining Double Driver Mode, you also have the opinion to create your own tracks in Track Builder. for Speed Most Wanted carries the same spirit as the original game, but with modern trappings that elevate the racing. Building notoriety to challenge the 10 most wanted racers is still the name of the game, and these boss battles are unlike anything else in arcade racing games. Handling is fast and approachable, ensuring that players can quickly start careening and drifting through the city streets of Fairhaven like a pro. Most Wanted is all about being defiant, that might mean escaping intelligent police AI cars, customizing a hot car collection, and even smashing through billboards with your friend's profile pictures on them.
flat out for total insanity, leans into its title, and it mostly succeeds. Cars feel somewhere between a pure arcade racer and a more balanced racer like Project Gotham Racing 4. That makes it easy to control your car when the heat is on throughout Flat Out 4's varied game modes. A career mode with a plethora of cars and track environments provides a fun single-player journey, but there are also mini-games like a stunt mode in which you eject your driver to hit a target or a hilarious version of beer pong. An arena-based deathmatch mode is a barrel of fun, and it all works because of Flat Out 4's fantastic destructibility. Seeing cars and tracks deteriorate over time never gets old. Much like Flat Out 4, Wreckfest channels the energy of destruction derby action. Yet, its hardcore driving model and detailed car destruction place a stronger emphasis on rewarding player skill. Damage can seriously affect how cars handle as they get battered and bent beyond recognition. Debris from cars even remains on track, making each successive lap harder. Making matters even more challenging are the AI drivers which put up a stiff challenge as they dive bomb and T-bone you out of the way. It all forces players to adapt their driving strategy on the fly, creating a constant sense of danger. Split in second, asks one simple but crucial question, what if players could drive their cars through a reality TV show? The result is an arcade racer, with all the fast cars and exciting drifts you would expect, but it also includes one of the most unique mechanics in the genre. At various points through a race, players can trigger catastrophic events that cause major changes to the track. That might mean a building falling over, or a wrecking ball destroying sections of road. It's a wonderful spectacle and it changes the layout of the track from one lap to the next. The Burnout series is well-renowned for its dedication to impressive car crashes and blisteringly high speeds. With Burnout Paradise Remastered, fans of the series can take to the open world of Paradise City and use it as their own personal racing playground. An eclectic collection of vehicles, including motorcycles, can be driven across the entirety of Paradise City as well as the Big Surf Island Expansion District. The tension of avoiding cars while taking part in the chaos of road rage or the intensity of a race across the map is second to none in the arcade racing scene. Hot Wheels Unleashed proves that the licensed toy brand many of us grew up with can work as an arcade racer. Developer Milestone clearly has a similar reverence for Hot Wheels as we do, and it shows in the loving attention to detail in-game. Every plastic vehicle features minute details to make you smile, such as fingerprints, a made-in-China marking, and imperfections in the paint coating of a ride. Handling is easy to get to grips with and rewards players who master drifting and figure out shortcuts on tracks. On top of that, the tracks themselves end up being a true highlight thanks to their realistic scale.
The magic of Trackmania is in how replayable it is, driving is fluid and fast and it can also be hilariously unforgiving. The slightest error will ruin your run, but that's fine since restarting is instantaneous. It's the perfect just one more try arcade game, when you're satisfied with getting the best lap times and medals, there's also an entire world of user-created tracks to dive into. It's hard not to have a good time as you rerun tracks to try and earn the best scores on a leaderboard, or enjoy the spectacle of playing a multiplayer race and seeing the live ghost cars of dozens of other players next to you. On a fundamental level, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is the best feeling game in the series, every kart and bike is weighty but responsive, and customizable parts can even help tailor the handling to your needs. When combined with choosing a character that also alters how you drive, you have a karting game with tons of genuine variety across an incredible selection of tracks from across the Mario Kart series. Assists help players of all skill levels get in on the fun, but Drift Kings can also master the mechanics to pull out a lead. It's endlessly replayable, and inclusions like battle modes and DLC tracks make the package even sweeter. Strong visuals and responsive handling define the Dirt 5 experience. With Dirt 5, Codemasters achieves a better sense of exciting racing by moving away from the more serious tendencies of its previous entries and adopting a more flexible handling model. Yet, despite the simpler approach, open-wheel cars still feel different from retro rally monsters, and variations in weather and track surfaces also change how cars handle on the fly. It embraces arcade racing tendencies and that works out for the better. Dirt 5 is also a winner with its entertaining career mode, thanks to banter from veteran voice actors Troy Baker and Nolan North. The stunt track editor rounds out the package to provide ample replayability. The Forza series, in general, does fantastic in the market though that statement is especially true with their Horizon line. Forza Horizon 4 will still follow the same feel and tone as the past installments though it will be taking place in a fictionalized United Kingdom. With over 400 licensed cars, players can race among each other through the variety of intense high-speed tracks. Likewise, there are servers that will support up to 72 players making races filling and competitive. Forza Horizon 5 is the complete package, Mexico is the most varied landscape in the series, and there are no limits as to how players can traverse it. It's a loving tribute to the country and its car culture, and it's also a joyful adventure that never pressures you. Despite its ludicrous number of events and side activities, Forza Horizon 5 rewards you no matter how you choose to play it no matter your skill level, and no matter your results. Staggering graphical fidelity, an eclectic selection of customizable cars, and fine-tuned handling that is blisteringly fast but always controllable, all culminate to make Forza Horizon 5 one of the greatest arcade racers to date. It's impossible not to mention the best arcade racers in this genre without mentioning Burnout 3 Takedown. 
It's light yet precise handling allows players to easily control the cars, but it takes split-second reaction times to stay on top of everything thanks to the incredible speeds you race on tracks. Dangerous driving is rewarded with a boost meter, and it's hard to beat the rush of a patented burnout sequence, like dodging through oncoming traffic, dramatically knocking down an opponent's car into a wall, and then being rewarded with a burst of speed. You quickly lose track of what is really going on, few arcade racers can match the adrenaline rush of Burnout 3.